Hello everybody and welcome back to Final Fantasy XII, where today, welcome back to me being in a hotel. <laughs> so I am hopefully going to be not too loud. I don't, <laughs> I don't know if that's going to actually happen. <laughs> but yes, I'm actually back working in Northern California right now. And I managed to bring, we're staying in hotels again, so I brought all my stuff. And this is where I'll be playing Baldur's Gate 3, so hopefully, hopefully I don't have to be too quiet. This is where, this is what we need to do, we need to get south of the jungle to the Feywood, and there's like a holy, not a holy, sorry, there's a trial in the Feywood uh, that we need to deal with, I don't know. In search of the richest shoals, but I've never heard of that place. Well, okay. I, uh, figured, what, what am I supposed to be doing? Just go out, just, just go out this way? This is also, so the setup is actually not too bad here. The defender show, blah. Um, it's, it's a pretty big desk. I can fit everything on it. Um, but I do have to play with my keyboard in my lap because I'm like two feet below the desk. Like the chair is incredibly short and I actually did try to bring my own chair and that didn't happen. It would not fit in the car, <laughs> but I did try. Oh, so now this one's not too bad. At least it's got some padding. Ooh, we can buy, I think, I honestly feel like I have, that, those are techniques, techniques. I don't, I don't care. Gloss-eyed man? You okay? Oh, like starry-eyed. I looked up to him. I wanted to be a swashbuckling sky pirate. Of course, the only work around here is like on cargo to and fro. So much for buckling swashes. When will I see my skies? Buckling swashes? I'm gonna say that from now on. I sure did- <laughs> I sure did some mining. They bought the men in this town. They may look rough, but each one of them's got a heart of gold. And I sure did some mining in my day. <laughs> Listen, I love that. That's an. I'm gonna. I'm gonna remember that. He's got a heart of gold, and I sure did some mining on. I don't. That sound, I can't say it nearly as good as she said it. Oh my gosh, that is so funny. Oh, are you talking to me? I do like seeing everybody running around. Like they're they're busy. They're busy working. Oh, they're too they're too heavy. I am very tiny. Port wench. Ooh, we've got the the chocobos, and it looks like we are hopefully going to be. Head now. Going south. I hope, I think that's where we're supposed to go. <gasps> I love seeing wind powered stuff, it's so cool. Oh my gosh, this one's super cute. I went back because I, I'm hoping to buy a map. A map. Look at her, she's adorable. No, I was hoping. Uh, isn't she a mogul? Mogul. Shoot, I was hoping to get a map. Oh, do you have maps? Cartographer's Guild, yes! Thank you. Well, I thought it was south. Maybe it's like it's like south of the jungle, which is over here to the north. <laughs> this is the only direction I can go. Oh my gosh, wait. So I went to the big map, and... Apparently it's way down here. I don't, what? 
What is what is this whole point for then? Jeez, I was right. I did I did not misunderstand. It is south. Let me see if I can fast travel. I don't think I can. I might just have to run. Oh, I have one teleport stone, apparently. I think the air... Oh, can I just go to the Gomorrah jungle? I just realized if this was like... If I'm totally misremembering the names, I'm gonna be very upset. Okay, here we go. Yeah, we can just go south here to, to the unknown. Okay. I'm about to fight a T-Rex. I've been trying to get Vaughn leveled up a tiny bit because I feel a little bad. <laughs> also, he has steel. So, uh, here we go. Good, wish me luck. <laughs> Oh, that was super easy. We did it in like five seconds or less. <sighs> Dire sores are nothing compared to the power of friendship. Ooh, this looks like a Fey Wild. Oh, Fey Wood. Sorry, Fey Wild from a different series. I think. I think it's D and D actually. <laughs> Oh my gosh, see how mean? See how mean they are? Yeah, well. Freaking. Alright, let's see if Vaughn can survive this. He didn't, by the way. Vaughn died. <laughs> Yay, Vaughn's level 29. <laughs> Oh dang, okay, so we reached another part of the Feywood, and apparently there's electricity here blocking our internal map augments. And whatever this. Oh, this is, must be the mist. Oh, that's what's making things weird. Even when we were in the lab, too. I was gonna say there's like weird. There's weird images at play here. It's hard to see. Like for me, I, I can't see it very well, but like in the golden fog. Oh shoot, I don't know. Oh jeez. Maybe we fight one of them first. These guys have reflect on them. That's really just not not cool. Although to be fair, Ash is basically just hitting people with her spear right now, so. Ooh, this is pretty. I the water honestly looks great. Like it we're not doing great on like the the walking through it making it look good thing, but it just looks really pretty. I think I'm I'm vaguely heading south. Yeah. There's like some cool ruins in here. Oh my gosh, what is this adorable moth creature? Oh my gosh, it's so cute. Look at it. Is that uh, it's got something like a question mark and an up thing, and I'm a little scared. I don't know what that means. It makes little <laughs> little tiki 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 -ti -ti noises. Penelo, please cure my confuse. Oh my gosh, it breathes fire. The moth breathes fire. Of course it does. <gasps> Ooh, it just that was I didn't I didn't see us walk into a cave. Maybe I'm a little blind, but this is cool. Now we're in a like a underground 
it almost looked kind of Atlantis-y, but I think it's just more of a, you know, person-made cave. Oh, please. It just, she had filled up her health bar completely, and then they sucked it out. Holy cow. I mean, this is a run. Yeah. No, you idiot, we were almost there. These things just freaking took all our health. What the heck? It was definitely doable out there. Why is it so much harder in here? I've been in here before. Okay, I think... I think this is... It's... I don't know. I was trying to look something up. Being like, is this even the way I'm supposed to go? And I don't think it is. I think I really was supposed to go more south? I don't know. Oh, a save crystal. Does that bode ill or bode well? I just kind of wandered a little east. You can kind of see it there. Wandered a little east. Well, maybe it all connects there? Okay. Oh! I was about to hit tab. Oh, we don't. A, cl a dense mist. Uh, okay, good. I was like, uh. Fran's our resident mist expert. The ladies are all like, hmm. Oh, never mind. We get to have visions of the loved one. Did we just see the universe? Time and space? Dude, are you even real? He's gotta be. Uh... Okay. <laughs> I was like, can I go in now? <laughs> Ooh. Oh, what is this? Ocarina of Time? This reminds me of the <laughs> the first creature that you fight in the tree. A magic field falls over the party. I did not see Uh, well, 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 I guess we'll just to see what we can do. Oh, we are having a hard time because... Okay, we don't have any MP. It's being put down because of the field. I was gonna say, this is going almost too well. We are almost done, but they keep throwing sap at us, and I don't. We can't even use it. We can't use our magic anyway. But I don't have anything to cure sap. I'm like, oh, jeez. <laughs> this is what happens. I thought this said, I did not know. It says pollen dance, but I definitely did not read pollen dance. I was like, it's ready and what? <laughs> A pole dance? Since we are so close, I'm just going to throw bodies at it. Okay. This is a pretty enemy. Like, it, you know, all things considered. Oh, 
please, no. Okay, I was like, no, I don't have that many people left. But now these three get to have all the credit for the fight. They just like roll up at the last second and they're like, mm, yes. <laughs> this is. We are so good. I just realized she's got like a veil on her front. I don't know. I don't know. I thought she, I did not did not think she had like a little veil there. Oh look, the three amigos. These were the first three that met, besides you know Vaughn and Pinello. Okay, so that's cool. We could keep going. It looks like, but I I do want to bring everybody back. So I'm gonna go back to the crystal. Oh geez, the Fey Woods are turning in pretty snowy looking. There's like a variety of creatures here. Oh, this is nice. Both of yours ranged attack puts silence on them, on enemies, some of them, and um, what's her name? Pinello's puts slow on some of them so this is a pretty pretty potent combination hmm oh that's cool the praying mantis gets to feed on the other dead one and get stronger love that for us Whatever these creatures are in like the left corner of this area, they're they're kicking our butts. Like it's the big the big ox looking things in particular, but even the praying mantises are uh, they're a big deal. Man, I don't- what? Oh! It shot- I think it just shot us back out. Cross the mist and head south through the Feywood. Easier said than done. Okay, so I think I did accidentally see there's something about- uh, Like, and I was trying to look up directions on how to get, like, here or somewhere. Like, which way to go from the- from the Golomir or whatever area. It said something about how there's like two areas you need to go to here in the Feywild, but also that there's like, if you just keep progressing south, like cutscenes will happen or something that will progress the story. I don't know. I am actually thinking this is probably a more central area because it has the crystal in it. So it's probably something that I need to go back and go north on because there was something about not being able to like get through an area unless you defeated both parts or something i don't know that that wasn't what i was looking for and so i was like i was like i don't care <laughs> you know or like you know i didn't really want to like spoil too much for myself Okay, so we just got a Feywood candle, which is supposed to help in the southern... Okay, I was like, if it just shows up what I haven't seen in here, I'll be upsetty spaghetti. But it looks like I was right, trying to go to the southeast. I have looked up a walkthrough because I'm kind of torn because there's nothing, there was nothing up here. I don't know if I already showed that. But um, it just goes back to a pre-existing area that we've been to before, so I was like, okay, never mind. Um, maybe I have to go to the right or left. Has to do with the shrine temple-like structures scattered around the map. Okay, that makes sense. I won't look anymore. We gotta look at these structures, because they are obviously... I gotta use my brain. Not like where we are now, but down there. Like obviously those areas that are snowflakey looking are significant. So I'm gonna go look at those. Yeah. 
Ooh, okay. I, in the middle of the fight, I just saw like something I could click on called the Feywood Glyph. I must be more tired than I realize. I've been walking up and down in Northern California. We're not too far from the Lake Tahoe area. We're in the Sierra Nevadas, if you guys know what those are. It's a mountain range. A really beautiful one, um, but very covered in trees and very exhausting to walk around in. And why are they ganging up on Pinello? So yeah, I think I'm just I'm just being a tired little little noob. I should use my my I use up all my archaeology skills during the day, so I don't have the brain power to use my my deductive archaeology skills in the video games a strange pattern is etched in the ground examine the pattern voices words chime within your head in the sanctum shall the pilgrim find truth and illusion both illusion betokens the true way okay so when i hit that illusory wall that shot me backwards Uh, that's the true way. I don't know, but it's, it's beeping at me. I don't know why it's beeping at me, but... Nothing? Okay, we finally found the second one. Voiceless words in this sanctum shall the pilgrim find truth. Do I have to like activate them in a certain order? Okay. Illusion betokens the way. Alright, because I went to these other two. <laughs> That's so unfortunate. I went the wrong way. I clicked the other two and I was like fighting my way all the way there and I was like there's nothing's happening. What the heck? I say that, but this one apparently doesn't have anything to push. I was curious if the if this structure on the way would do something. But I didn't see anything in there. Okay, I'm looking it up again. Oh. Oh. <laughs> what? I'm apparently... Just, like, running along it by happenstance. Hang on. Ah. It said um, you have to bring everybody into the center and then you need to spin around and it'll show you the way. Oh, okay, so I only needed to do the three of them, I guess? Because so each shrine would have done that. It would have sent you to the next shrine. The next correct shrine to get through. Okay, we did it. We got through. Excellent. That's cool. I, I guess, I don't know, maybe if I understood the game better, I would like recognize that that would be a thing, but like, I don't know, we haven't really dealt with illusions much, so I'm just, uh, just doing my best. And my best is almost two hours running around this area. <laughs> That's what it is. Okay, same thing. There we go, through here. This is interesting. Like this really is it's very hard to see, and so it makes a lot of sense. Okay. Uh, and I, I could get, I, I have very easily gotten turned around, like not for long, I always double check the map, and I'm like, oh, okay. And like, you can always do this too, honestly. <laughs> With the tap button, it's kind of cheating maybe, but hey. <laughs> it's there for a reason. Like, they're like, oh no, the map, you can't see it. And I'm like, tab. <laughs> oh, here we go. This is promising. 
A remedy, thanks. Gigas' summoner gates powers yours to claim. Beyond the one gate lies the sacred. Over the one gate, the Gigas hold touch it. Yep, okay, well, looking that up again, or now, I guess. You're supposed to summon Bellius? Who's Bell? I. What? How do you do that? There's also apparently a cool spell in the center. There it is. Uh, how do you summon. I don't even know who Bellius is if I don't know what that is, if I have to do something crazy for it. Okay, so I have actually no idea what's going on here. I only see the lights. I, I didn't even know there was like a summons that you can do, apparently, with like your little orange bars, which I never ever use. I just brute force things. But apparently you can summon certain bosses sometimes to help you. And I have searched every single board. And I only have this Mateus. Apparently, Bellius was somebody was a boss we fought in the Tomb of Wraithwall. Or maybe I didn't. I don't know. It's, it seems like it seems like people are saying you have to fight Bellius to get to to get through the Tomb of Wraithwall. And that the reason I can't find it is potentially because I gave it to somebody. But it's a and it's an Esper. I have I have no idea. I I do not I do not understand. Who is this person lurking? Oh, Vane. Yeah, I uh I I don't I don't know. I'm kind of stuck, honestly. I can't apparently get through here unless I summon somebody, which I'll be really, really upset if I got all the way through here and I don't actually like have the license for it. Like I'm supposed to be able to buy it, but I do not see it. When somebody used the um, the bushi as a as an example, they said it was like top left of center a little bit, and that's. I have a Matthias there. Oh! I'm- wow, okay, never mind. Okay, so apparently Bosch has it? Oh! I- see, I was looking for something that looked like this, but apparently this is what it looks like when it's activated. Okay, so Bosch has it! Okay, I just gotta bring Bosch back, apparently. Okay, never mind, let's- let's see if we can get this figured out. Also, I've already mentioned, like, I don't really know how to use my my Esper whatever abilities, the orange bar abilities, <laughs> so I'm going to have to figure out how to do that and use a whole aspect of the game I just haven't been, um, haven't been utilizing, I guess. Okay, here we go. Uh, yeah, let's, let's, uh, let's do this, <laughs> whatever we're doing. <laughs> okay. Um, can I open the door now? Okay! <laughs> I have never done that before in my life! <laughs> Thank you! I'm so sorry I haven't summoned you until now. I didn't know you were a thing. Not gonna lie. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> A whole aspect of the game I haven't used. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's so funny. I don't know if I'd have known too. I just like I probably just clicked on it and I was like, here, I guess, Bosch. And now Bosch ha apparently you can only give it to one person, so each summon can only go to one individual. Nobody else can have Belias now. The ancient city, okay. Ooh, it's actually super gorgeous, but we also, did we complete our, whatever, our challenge?
On the farthest shores of the River of Time, shrouded deep in the roiling mist. Is Fran okay? What is it, Fran? The mist runs thick here. Like on the Leviathan? Do not worry. I will behave myself. <laughs> the mist here is cold. I That's sense something like the shadow here. Fena. It appears Sid has yet to arrive. We'll lie in wait for him here. So we're not going inside? Not unless you want to end up twisted. Like the old man. I think just being here is risk enough. Something there. There's a magic sword over there. It's calling to her. Oh no, it's her. Never mind. Okay. Oh, he wants us to go in. If she's gonna do it. She's just gonna walk straight in. Yep, what there she is. It? There she goes. She can see him. Let's follow her. Did we not just hear Balthair? Balthair just said. And does everybody else know that she can follow uh, the 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 outline, the spirit fade ghost of her husband? <laughs> Cause my friggin' Vaughn's just like she could see him, and everyone's like, see who? Like I don't know, I can't remember, but that I do remember. Fran did go crazy because of the mist on the ship, but I guess that was probably like a twisted kind. This is probably a purer form, which doesn't mean it's any less dangerous. Um, like pure anything can be very, like, pure oxygen will kill you, you know? So. Anyway, this is a cool place. We are in, like, the holy, uh, the holy city now, I guess? That's cool. What am I I'm trying to look at? Who could have built this place? Place. Great grand peppy king man. For sure. Definitely. Anyway, I've been recording for two hours and twelve minutes, and I am thinking it's going to be just one episode, but maybe we'll be lucky and it'll be two. Uh, but yes. So I'm going to go now, is essentially what I'm saying. So thank you all so much for joining me. I appreciate it. Really quick, I want to say thank you to my patrons, to all my patrons, but to especially Reese Galito, my sapling tier patron. Thank you so much for your support. And an extra special shout out to Adam, my tree tier patron. Thank you so, so much for your support, my friend. I very much appreciate it, and I hope you're doing well. Um, and an extra, extra special shout out to Christopher, my forest tier patron, who has gone above and beyond in his support of me and the channel. And I cannot thank you enough. Seriously, it's it means a lot. And I just hope you're doing well and enjoying the videos. So thank you all again for watching and I hope to see you in the next one.